All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 38. All right. So the text area element acts like an input element of type text, but comes with the added benefit of being able to receive multi-line text and an initial number of text rows and columns, all right? So users will be able to register with a bio. We're gonna add a label with the text provide a bio like this. Is there a space there? Nope, is there? Anyway, whatever, at the end of the field set. Uh, we're gonna add a text area element inside the label element. And we'll note that the text area requires a closing tag. All right. So first things first, let's go check out text area so we can uh, get a good, a better idea of what it really does. So text area HTML, just like that. Click it over here. And for definition and usage, the text area tag defines a multi-line text input control. All right, that's what it said. The text area element is often used in a form to collect user inputs like comments or reviews. And before we go to the next one, let's just look at what it looks like. So it's gonna basically look like this right here, except for they've added some extra text or some text to go inside of it. Anyway, that being said, let's go to the next one. Uh, the text area can be can hold an unlimited number of characters and the text renders in a fixed width font. Pardon me, fixed width font, usually courier. Uh, the size of a text area is specified by the columns and rows attributes or with CSS. And the name attribute is needed to reference the form data after the form is submitted. So if we omit the name attribute, no data from the text area will be submitted, all right? And the ID attribute is needed to associate the text area with a label, all right? Just like before we need to put a four in the label and the ID in the uh, text area. And then for the tip, we're gonna always add a, pardon me, the label tag for best accessibility practices, right? Oh, it's Halloween. Uh, so there we go. So let's come over here. And so what we're gonna do is add the label first and we'll add it right here. We'll say, uh, what are we gonna do? Let's do label and then close label. And then inside here, we'll do the provide a bio thing. We'll say provide a bio like that. And then we're going to add the text area inside the element, inside the label right after the provide a bio. So we'll do text area like this and close text area, text area like that, right? And so now we've got this going on over here. We can add some uh, text. Let's uh, check the code. Looks good, but you know what? Let's add a space here just so it, because it's not gonna work if you add the space before you hit uh, uh, check the code. But anyway, let's add the space here just for us so it looks good to us. How about that? And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 39 and we'll see you next time.